Excellent. Thank you. I think we're good on the press. One of the things that I think there's a commitment from this White House to is to look at the various resources throughout the federal government that support HBCUs. So, for example, um, the Department of Defense has uh, ROTC and NROTC programs. Um, are they being properly, is that funding being properly executed and spent? Uh, there's programs within each of the departments, the Department of Education, the Department of Housing and Urban Development, that affect grants or programs or, uh, or direct funding that go to HBCUs for various different things, whether it's construction projects or teaching programs or mentorship programs, whatever it is, they span throughout the entire government. And I think that what we are committed to doing is ensuring that, the, that there is a high level understanding uh, and commitment that goes straight to the president of how we harness those resources within the government uh, and make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. So it's, it's one thing to have them, right, spread throughout the different departments. It's another thing to make sure that there's a direct pipeline to the president of the United States that those programs are being executed in a way that's benefiting uh, the future of HBCUs and the various projects and teaching uh, that goes on there. Host Lauren Victoria Burke is managing editor. And Lauren Victoria Burke, managing editor for Politics 365. Thank you all for joining us. Parents and Art and Lauren Victoria Burke. Joining me now are Michelle Cotton and Lauren Victoria Burke. Thank you both for being here. 365 and the Russo.